Hey guys, this is John. I'm playing Casper in the One Minute Pool on ICC. Happy Hump Day. It is Wednesday, and we are sloshing around the ICC pool, having some fun. Um, Castor, I've done pretty well against him lately. He's got me with the tactic there, but we will be bowed, but um, determined. <laughs> I have a good knight on d5 at least. Let's hide our king, because maybe like queen b6 eventually could be an issue. Um, I guess I'm going to go here. He's going to put his knight on e6, though, is the problem. That's the big problem in this position. Uh, that's another good tactic. Man, he's full of them. Um, okay, so what can I do here? I think I gotta take like this. Yeah, this is not gonna turn out well though. We'll just try to go for a counterplay on uh, the last rank. Or the seventh rank, rather. I mean, if I can get something going against this pawn, like maybe I have a chance. Like this, maybe? Yeah, now I can double up on the seventh rank. Looks like f5 was a bit of an inaccuracy. Check. Let's give it a check. Uh, okay, let's, let's come here. I don't want to, hmm, I want to disturb this rook, but it's it's not so simple. Check. Okay, let's do this. Hmm. Okay, let's come over here. Time. How's he gonna, how's he gonna manage this? Ooh, I missed a mate. Rook h7. Check. Whoops. Didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> Check. Missing mates all over the place. Can he push e2? He might be able to. Um, uh, yeah, I think I'm losing now. Well, Check. I have this move. Check. Wow. What a crazy game. Absolutely insane game. Hmm. Let's see if we can take now. He's going to flag. Yeah, wow. Okay. <laughs> he he played h6 and we had checkmate in two. Uh right here. Rook h7, king g8, rook a g7, but didn't happen. Crazy stuff. Okay, back in the pool. Let's do this. So I'm at 2563. Let me just check the best list while I have a chance. Currently looks like I'm number seven on the best list. Black Horse 96 and Vanticulti are over 2,700. They actually have the same rating, 2,713, and they're 100 points higher than the third person. Let's give it a game while we're waiting. And yeah, by the way, this tactic that Castor pulled off with knight takes d5, that's real heads-up chess right there, um, taking advantage of the undefended bishop on g5. This is a tactic that can happen in, like, um, for instance, the French. French defense players will know that sometimes if your opponent plays like a, a poor variation of the French advance where they bring a bishop to b5 and you have a knight on c6 and a bishop on d7, often you can play knight takes e5. Um, may not be clear what I'm talking about with that, but if you play that opening, you probably ran into that. Okay, can we get Castor again? He just lost a game. Nope, we have Citizen GM Kane. Let's play, let's play a modern. Okay, we'll take here, and then if he drops the knight back, hmm. Okay, I'm going to go here. I'm going to try to play tricky. I don't know how advisable this is, but I'm going to go after check. Like both his knights basically. Weird position already. Let's go here and try to attack this pawn. So we're up a pawn, but okay, we're going to bring our king out cuz if I took with the pawn, check. he'd be able to win d6. That was not a good move by check. him. Uh, okay, let's just go here. <laughs> I feel a little bit bad about that, bringing the king out and exploiting it in such a way, but he did just blunder. He's probably going to play bishop b4. He could take on e6, but I'll just take with my king. It's no big deal. Okay, let's do this, and then we'll play rook c5. Double up the rooks. Yeah, I'll bring this rook over. There's really only so much he can do now. I'm happy to allow him to take there. I can bring this rook up to c6 if I really need to. There's just not much for him to do. Okay, let's go here. If he moves the queen, then we get in here. Now this bishop can't move. So we can play like rook f8, for instance. It's going to be pretty crushing. Checkmate. Okay, so back in the pool. Yeah, I played king takes f6 because um, 
I didn't want to damage the structure. It looked a little crazy, but at the same time, there was no way for him to immediately punish it. Maybe he could have played bishop d4, actually. I don't know. All right, so we're playing the piano variation of the Samish. Rook b8, now rook c1. This is designed to um, discourage b5. Now if they play b5, I'll push past with c5. Okay, let's maneuver this knight to f2. I'm okay with the trade. This is a line. Yeah, like I said before, Castor really knows his stuff. This guy's no slouch when it comes to openings. So, you know, in a theoretical battle, I'm not going to be doing that well. Ooh, that's a nasty move. Gross. I guess I can do this. If he plays bishop b4, I can play knight c3. I thought for a second that this would be pinning and winning, but um, seems to not be the case. Knight into d4, I guess I can play rook f d1 then. Hmm, bishop g5. Okay, let's... I'm a little worried he's going to anchor this knight in. Yeah, with a move like that. Now i got to be careful again, because he's threatening um, to take and then play knight e2 check is the issue. Okay, let's take here. Guess we'll go here. Where's this knight going to go? Actually, it's trapped. Close to it. Close to getting trapped. Mm. Time. Okay, I'm going to go here. Just gain a little... Oh, I hung g3. Check. Hung g3 in the process of doing this. But I can play knight to g4, maybe. Oh, he can take with check. Hmm. I'm noticing all these tactics just a little late. <laughs> that happens. I'll try to cut off his pawn so I can play like rook f2 and go after this guy. That's what we're trying to do. Maybe e5 to come? Check. Check. Hmm. He's going to bring his rook over. Okay, here I can go here at least. Okay, now rook f7 is an option. Check. That's on the table. Check. Check. Ah, check. check. Let's go here. Check. Let's see what he does. Check. Give a check. Come back with our king. Ooh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Castor's um, been getting the best of me in these two games that we played, but towards the end, he's kind of faded on the clock. I wonder if I could have trapped that knight on e2 somehow. Let him out of my grasp. Okay, let's try something a little more offbeat against him. See how he reacts. Go here. Maybe d5 to come. Seems okay. Um, all right, we'll take that. Check. Check. He's going to play for some sort of structural type of thing. Um, okay, I'm going to go knight d7, so if he checks, I can play e5. Check. Maybe bishop a6. I think this is reasonable. a7 is now hanging, though. Hmm. Okay, we'll push. Strategically, I think my position's a bit suspect now. I'm going to trade this. And then, I guess, try to gain some space, but... I have weak A and C pawns, and my king is lined up with um, some of the uh, stuff going on in the C file. Okay, let's go E4. Yeah, ooh, I blundered that, didn't I? Check. This could get ugly. I guess I can give a check, maybe. Oh, he's trying to set up A4. Okay, we can have this move. So if A4, check. king back to A6. Maybe I'm wiggling out of this, amazingly. Let's remove this capture. I think I'm actually getting out of this, unbelievably. Let's guard the C-pawn. Um, let's go here. I can do that, Check. can't he? I thought I was tricking him for a second, but I guess not. <laughs> okay. I think he's determined not to let this one slip from his grasp. He's going to pin me. All right. Now we got to work some magic again. Check. Probably not going to happen, however. Check. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can do that. All right, you win this one, Caster. <laughs> you deserve that. <laughs> You've pretty much outplayed me the last three games. Okay, back in the pool. Yeah, he didn't let up the pace on that one. I thought for a second I was getting out of this uh, after what happened with like, Rook D6. Maybe Rook D6 like, wasn't so good. He could have just banked the exchange. Um, bishop takes B8. Or at, on Rook D6, maybe he should have gone uh, Rook 
c to d1 and double up and attack this knight because i can't move that knight can, since rook takes d8 would then be possible i do a bishop d4 check but i guess you can always play e3 so it shouldn't work okay let's take a look at the game while we're waiting adonis adonis from taiwan not familiar with this player segment bachulin they're listed as an im in their finger notes but a gm up here Usually that GM is more accurate, so. All right, Castor again. Let's play C4 this time around. We'll do some Fianchetto line. Maybe a Bafnik system? Yeah, let's play it this way. And then, hmm, he's doing something weird with his knight. Not entirely sure. I'm just gonna go for D4. I can bring knight to G4. Better stop that. Put a stop to that. Okay, so he's able to trade the dark square bishops, but I'm not like torn up about that in this position. I mean, traditionally, like trading those bishops is a good idea. Um, but yeah, somehow I'm like not worried here. I'm trying to go f6 if possible. Let's bring this here. I think f6 check would be really nice. He's trying to put a stop to that. Let's continue attempting to open this up. Um, I don't want to trade. He's going to bring his bishop back to d7, guaranteed. Let's go here. Hmm. I gotta try to get into his position somehow. Maybe I'm allowing the queen to e1? I don't know. Somehow I gotta shake this bind that he has. This knight is too good on its current square. Check. So we gotta play to get rid of that guy. Hmm. This is tricky. Check. Get in with my queen. Time. Okay, let's. Let's dive in here. Check. See what happens. Check. Might be kind of a draw now, though. Hmm. Check. It's Hyder King. I can't do that. Okay. Check. Check. Bishop Check. F1 he has. Ooh, yeah, I'm in a mating net now. I think. Check. Check. Hmm. If he checks on f2, check. Yeah, I guess my checks kind of run out here, don't check. they? Check. Check. All right. Yeah, another good game by him. Hmm. Back in the pool. Yeah. Uh, maybe I missed my chance to play f6. After he took on c4, that was probably a decent opportunity to do it. I could also play knight takes e7, and if he takes, play f6 check. Seems a little speculative though. I don't know. F6 was annoying because then it stops me from playing f6. Yeah, he's just got a skill advantage on me. It's it's difficult to um, outplay him, so I'm having to compensate on the clock. Here's Adonis playing again. Some low-rated Grandmasters for Bullet, 1953-1920. This bishop on b2 does not make a strong impression. White needs to play c4 soon. Open that up. Innocent boy, Grandmaster. Um, let's play maybe like a Benko Gambit this time around. Hmm. Interesting that he didn't take this pawn on d4. <laughs> if he does now, I'll play d5. Is he lagging? What's going on? Okay, I'll go here now. He can't take on e5 because I have queen a5 check. So he's going to be playing it like a Gambit. Let's play h6 just to stop bishop g5. I think it's decent. Uh, let's go here. There's no knight takes e5 tactic, is there? We'll castle. Maybe b5 to come. I don't know. Probably queen a5 next, actually. Seems like a strong idea. I want to go d5. Hmm. He's putting a stop to that. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's go take once. And then let's play bishop g5. I don't. <laughs> that might not be a good idea, but I'm trying to get the knight into d4. I'm a little worried that I'm abandoning my king right now. Like queen h5? It's probably good. Oh, okay, he doesn't do that. Let's go here. See if we can uh, defend that knight. Hmm. Okay, we'll go here. And then, oh, I just dropped my rook. Great. <laughs> uh, 
Excellent. <laughs> okay, we're rolling with uh, a rook down. Time warning. 20-some seconds on our clock. They'll probably sack the exchange, and I, I know I would. Go take this pawn, sure. Check. Put a stop to this pawn, I suppose. Maybe our king can come help out? Probably not. I guess I'll just play this out and see what happens. I'm not expecting much. Take the rook. Check. Check. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we're probably going to get flagged here. He seems pretty quick, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, back in the pool. Innocent boy. Rookie 7 was atrocious in that last game. Uh, let's play queen c2. Bishop f5 or bishop g4 usually are the moves. Yeah, blundering like a fiend. Um, okay, let's go h3. See if we can get him to take. Does not want to. Okay, we'll play e4. Guard this pawn. I don't know, is it going to be hard to coordinate? Because this knight can't leave the defense of d4. Let's go here and try to bother him a little bit. d5. You're going to allow this to happen. Sacking a piece now. Okay. Let's bring this queen over. I just don't want to hit, get hit with knight b4. Okay, now at least I can do this move. Ooh, that's got to be asking for something. I think I can go here. No, let's not do that. They might have bishop take c4 if I had done that. Now I could play bishop d5. That's the thing. Hmm. Well, I'm up a piece for two pawns, is it? Yeah. Keep trading. Maybe I could put my bishop on c3, continue swapping. e7 is weak, so that's good. Probably want to go king g2 now just to protect this knight before I start trying to achieve too much. I can, t I can take that pawn. h4, h5 coming, maybe? Time warning. He can transfer his rook to f5 like he's doing now, but shouldn't be anything. Let's play g4 just to kick that rook out. Check. Hmm. Don't want to go queen e5 because he would have rook takes f3. But now we get to establish Check. like this super strong knight on e5. His rook is... Oh, I did it again. I dropped a rook. <laughs> I did it again. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Check. Hmm. Let's play f4 next move. He's going to give us some checks, but... Gotta hurry now. Oh my. We can get at his king. I'm checkmating him. Crazy game. Oh, don't tell Checkmate. me I'm lagging out. Okay, good. <laughs> oh my gosh, I did it two games in a row. What is it with me and blundering rooks? It's probably my most frequently blundered piece. Like a month ago, there was a string of blitz games where I was just like, I was just blundering rooks for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I gotta like, does anyone have any like rook training I can do? Do you even rook lift, bro? Ah. Oh. <laughs> Okay, back in the pool. I'm going to play a couple more games and call it a session. Kasparov, this guy has a pretty decent rating. Polish, Polish dude. What's it going to be? Scandy time? It will be a Scandy time. I think this is a player who plays in uh, Title Tuesday, and I think he also goes to my alma mater, the University of Texas at Dallas. I'm not mistaking this player for someone else. Okay, let's stick with the queen and keep our structure together. I think this is pretty good. It does have two pawns in the center. That could be potentially annoying. Let's go here. Ooh, knight e5, though. Bishop f4 now. Better try to trade this knight. Well, we still can. Bring this rook over. Maybe we can blockade this square. It's a bit unpleasant, though. Hmm. Let's go b6 and try to break it up. He actually took. I'm surprised by that. I wonder if... Okay, knight d5 does not work in the slightest. 
Maybe I can get rook b3 in and attack this a3 pawn. Hoping for the best. Okay, well now structurally we might have some sort of edge. Let's put the rook on the second rank. We'll keep it there. Okay, I think we're like a tiny bit better. Let's keep the queens on. Hide our king. Okay, that loses a pawn. Strange, we're in an endgame. Let's go here and attack. Hmm. How am I going to win this endgame? First, let's put a bunch of pawns on dark squares to restrict his bishop. Let's play... Oh, okay, I didn't hang that. I did not hang that. <laughs> He's fast. No trade. Okay, now I want to trade. I decided. <laughs> All right, this is a complete draw. Total draw. Check. Thing is, if one side tries to claim this right now, you might lose on time. So yeah, I mean, it looks like I mercilessly flagged him. But in bullet, it's a different situation. I mean, if he clicks the or takes the time to click the draw box button, he might just lose. And same with me. I had a little bit more time, but okay. Let's do this. This is like a snake Benoni. I think I'm supposed to play Bishop G5 against this type of setup. Let's go here and see if he pops the uh, hmm, the bishop out to A5. Sometimes they do that. I guess I'm just going to try to get my knight into c4 as normal in this line. He maybe missed a chance to play b5 a second ago. I guess we'll find out. Um, let's go queen d2. Hmm. e5? I think I can go e5. This could get weird though. e6. Wow, this has got to be strong. I mean, my pieces are excellently placed. Okay, let's go here and attack this f5 pawn. Ooh, a5's hanging. Gotta go back and defend that. He's playing a lot faster than I am right now, though. He's gonna go for counterplay against my king. Check. Still wanna try to knock down that f5 pawn if I can. Knight e4 looks like it could be nasty. Time warning. Let's go here. See if he abandons... Okay, um, let's do this and then take on f5. Check. Wow, this has got to be good. This must be Check. good. I'm going to do this and then Check. go take that guy. Um, maybe not, though. He's very well centralized Check. right now. Kind of forcing him to play good moves, too. Oh, boy. Check. Hmm. Check. He's out for revenge. <laughs> Check. Okay, let's pin that pawn. We can go Check. after this. Check. Yeah, you can just take our rook. All right, resigns. Mm. Let's play one more. Okay, this is our last game. Let's try to play a good one against Castor. Tough session. Face some good opponents. Let's play this knight f3 variation. And then bishop g5. Let him take the pawn on c4 if he wants. It's like a QGD now. Queen's Gambit declined. Uh, let's go knight e5. I think this could be reasonable. Preserve the bishop. Gotta stay ahead on the clock against Castor. We'll do this and then, I guess, a3 to support it. Hmm. H4, gain some space. He could play for c5, but... I think we should be decently placed in that case. Let's bring this knight in. Our dark squares are awesome. Queen e7, we have rook takes d5, so he can't do that. He might have been counting on that idea. Bishop here is what I want to play next. He is so cramped right now. Hmm. Let's bring this back. Just so he like, can barely move. Some domination going on at the moment. <laughs> hmm. 
think I can probably break through with f5 because he's so disorganized. Let's go here. My bishop is defended by my queen. I'm way up on time now. Maybe he wants to use the e6 square, so let's put a stop to that. Go after h6. Now we can just go... Time more. Okay, he just tried something, but now I can just bring my queen in. Okay, that was a good game. Yeah, we had a very nice control of the position. That's a nice tactic right here. Like queen e7, maybe do simplify a little bit. Runs under rook, takes d5, and that removes the defender and simultaneously defends my queen with the rook as well. So, okay, I'm glad I played at least one good game against Castor. Let's check our stats. We probably like broke even for this session, stats wise. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten games, and I won one, two, three, four, five, six, six and four. Okay. So, all right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we are, where are we at? Oh, we, got, we went down a little bit. We took a rating hit because we were playing down every time, but that's all right. So, Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with another bullet video. Talk to you guys later. Bye.